Making our first uh -huh. alert Wednesday. We've seen tons and yeah. tons of rain in the valley. Yeah, and uh, across the What can people expect if they're, you know, going to hit out and hit their streets? Yeah, well, we've got rain in the valley. And, you know, rain in the high country, too. This is a storm system that is bringing rain and not snow to communities like Flagstaff, where it's been raining all morning. Can't really see the San Francisco peaks there, but we can see some wet roadways down below, but certainly not snow covered. That may change by tonight. We are still calling for some snow. It's just not going to be a lot. Future cast mode here for our snowfall model here showing us as we go into the nighttime hours tonight and into early tomorrow. That's when we'll see the snow levels drop off to about 6,500 feet. Accumulation really expected to be significant above about 8,000 feet. So eventually a little bit of snow up on the rim and in the White Mountains of eastern Arizona along with potentially Flagstaff as well. But for most of today, it is expected to stay rain up there. Weather alerts include a flood watch for most of northern and uh, central, north central here, uh, Arizona. This is northern Gila County and also most of uh, the lower elevation of Yavapai County along with Mojave County and this is a flood watch all the way through tomorrow afternoon. Now within that flood watch we've got several flood warnings and that means that flooding is either happening or imminent. A couple of them I want to go over with you here is the Oak Creek area. The Oak Creek as it heads through Sedona uh, under a flood warning through 11 o'clock tomorrow. You head a little further down. This is near the Cornville area. That's in effect until 8 p.m. tomorrow and then eventually we'll see the Verde start to rise too as that water uh, flows into there. This is for the uh, Wet Beaver Creek area for Lake Montezuma and the Rim Rock communities. That's until 11 o'clock tomorrow. And then we take it to the Prescott area where they've gotten some decent rain this morning. So an aerial flood warning has been issued uh, into later this afternoon till 345. This is for the Gr uh, Granite Creek area near Prescott and areas south of Prescott as well. Right now in the Tonto Basin, we continue with the same flood warning that's been in effect for this area now for at least a week or so. This now in effect until noon on Sunday. And for the Valley Metro area, we've got the Salt River, which has been uh, seeing some uh, the Salt River bed here seeing those rises uh, with the dam releases. So this flood warning is in effect until Saturday at 5 o'clock as they continue to release that water uh, upstream of Tempe Town Lake and downstream of that as well. So a uh, watch for those unbridged crossings there where we've got some closures in the water there flowing across the roadways. Uh, the range is adding to these rising waters across the state, especially where it's falling on the uh, snow and causing it to melt in the high country. But in the valley, it's been raining now for hours. We continue to see these light showers moving through. Just check the rain gauge. Most areas are just shy of about a fifth of an inch so far. I do think we'll add to that. Taking you up north, we've got a little bit heavier rain here from the Payson area up toward the Mogollon Rim where the highest elevations are seeing some snow and some off and on showers the next couple of hours likely for Prescott. Looking ahead in time, how much more rain are we going to get by 5 o'clock this evening? I think we'll add a little bit more here in the valley. They'll be up over an inch potentially for the Flagstaff area and about half an inch for Prescott and Payson. Then we take you into the evening hours and I think this is when we'll add most of our rainfall uh, to our valley uh, rain gauges and by midnight tonight, about a half an inch possible in high country spots, though we're seeing some spots that could even end up close to two inches of rain and for the White Mountains of eastern Arizona and pace and we may add a little bit more to that overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. Futurecast models now show us maybe in for a little bit of a break. The next couple of hours, some scattered showers around town, but not the widespread rain we've seen all morning. As we head into the evening, though, models continue to point to a chance for some heavier rain and potentially some thunderstorm activity this evening in the valley. Before that moves out, we see a few scattered showers by tomorrow morning. Storm Prediction Center uh, putting us in a marginal risk in the valley for some severe weather for tonight. So something to keep in mind. Not done with a storm just yet. It is a first alert weather day tomorrow. The storm will be winding down, adding in a slight chance of rain to your weekend forecast.